Many people have discovered the utility of remote work during the pandemic. It's proven quite useful for lots of fields, from office work to video production. But how about medicine? Can a surgeon work remotely? There were reports of a 5G surgery done to a banana circulating on, an, on the internet, though this has turned out to be a hoax. That's still quite far into the future. So how are surgeons using remote work now? To get to the bottom of this, it's best to ask for experts. From TechAsia, I'm Alfie. Let's dive in. The surgeons may have difficulties when they are operating on the patients, and they may need to consult the senior for advice. In the past, the junior doctor, they are doing this by phone calls to inform the senior and describe what the situation of the patient is during the operation. Just describing the abnormality by phone call is, is, is not so um, efficient. The senior have to imagine what actually is the problem. Zhangguo Hospital is the first HA hospital to have this 5G network installed in the operating room. Uh, last year, we have 65 such cases. The senior surgeon can just um, log in the iPad to assess the real-time situation of the of the operation. The senior surgeon can put a mark or put an arrow or uh, indicate the point of interest that um, the junior surgeon has to pay attention to when they're operating. Junior surgeon? Now, before you get worried, these are medical residents that have graduated med school and that can have up to seven years of surgical experience. Besides, this has been studied, and you're actually less likely to die if you're operated on by a junior surgeon rather than a senior. During weekdays, uh, usually the senior can cover the junior surgeons, but uh, when off hours, for example, during night time, uh, usually the junior doctor will stay in hospital to look after the patients. And from time to time, the junior surgeon will carry out operation. They may also encounter difficulties during the operation. In some occasions, the senior surgeon really need to go back to hospital to assist the operation. And they can already have the idea of what's going on in the surgical field while on their way to the hospital. So um, I think 5G network can improve the patient's safety during operation. What's this about 5G? I mean, sure, for the doctors themselves accessing the network, that does make sense. 5G does have a higher connection speed and higher throughput, but we're talking about 5G being used in the operation room. What benefit does this have versus just plugging it in? It's a licensed brand, so that uh, unlike Wi-Fi, which is unlicensed, the security of data is um, guaranteed by this 5G network. Apart from remote supervision, broadcast of live surgery can also be used for medical education to exchange the opinions with the medical experts so that um, people all around the world can also join the conference. I'm also the coordinator for the smart hospital development to enhance communication with different medical teams to relieve the workload of our staff, for example, the e-vitals, so that the vital sign of the patient can be transmitted uh, automatically to their medical record so that the doctor can assess the medical condition of the um, patient very remotely. Well, that surgeon probably isn't going to be taking it easy on the beach while performing their operation, which is probably for the best. Unlike for myself, because I have no responsibilities. On that note, that's the end of our remote call for this surgery. Uh, sorry, this week's Tech Asia. If you're interested in more medical technology, make sure to subscribe. We'll be talking about a technology that's revolutionizing the way that medical diagnostics are made. Here's a hint, it rhymes with Shmei. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go back to my diving vacation in the Maldives. Take care.